Hi everyone, I want to share with you um, two cards that I made and then also going to do a tutorial on how to create this index card purse. Um, first let me share with you these cards that I made. I purchased this Sizzix, it's a triple circle flip it's card die. Um, it's designed by Stephanie Bernard and I purchased this from Amanda. I'll put the link to Amanda's channel down below. She was doing a lot of de-stashing and she had this for a really great price. I've had my eye on this for quite some time because Hobby Lobby carries this, but um, my local Hobby Lobby never has it in stock. I guess it sells pretty fast. So she had it um, on sale, and I thought it was such a really great price. And it comes with this really cool envelope. I put the smaller pieces on a piece of magnetic sheet. Um, because I didn't like them just floating in there, all the pieces. So I put the smaller ones on a magnetic sheet. And it comes with 10 pieces, and it creates a really cute card. So let me show you the two cards I made. This is using Crate Paper's Flea Market Collection. And I used some craft card stock for the base. And I mainly wanted it because I wanted to put my doll stamped images on the circle. And it's really cute, and it just flips like that. So the other side I put Paris, and then I added this Eiffel Tower. This is a quick cuts die, and it's just a really cute die. It also comes with this scallop piece right here. And then I made this one. It's a little thank you card. This is using um, Trim Craft. It's the floral pavilion paper, really shabby papers. And then it just says thank you. So this card is for Linda. Hi, Linda. So I made this, and um, I really love how it turned out, so I'm giving this to Linda. And I use my mini Magnolia Tilda stamps. And so they just make really super cute cards. I, I really like this um, die set. So I wanted to share that with you. So let's go ahead and make these um, index card purses. So basically I just created a belly band and then it opens up like this and then inside little index cards. Now I know there's a die out there that creates something like this and that's where I got inspired by but I made mine a little bit different. I basically created a pocket on the bottom to actually hold the index cards in and um, I know the other one it just actually sits on top because this piece right here is actually covered but it sits on top of it and I actually almost got the die but I was just worried that the index cards would slide out on the side so that's why this one that I designed actually goes inside a little pocket so when even if you didn't put the belly band it doesn't come out so let me show you how to make this this is perfect I made this especially for my girls for school especially Ariana, you know, in college, she, they use a lot of index cards. Um, but you can also use this for recipes. You know, if you want to give a cute little recipe um, purse filled with different recipes inside, you could do that. It's a cute way. Here's another one I made. So I just added these those little double bows that I made. I'm using the Dainty Bow Die by MFT. Okay, and here's, the, here's another one I made. Okay, so let me show you how to make this. It's really quick and simple. Okay, you're going to need two pieces, basically. And I used, for the corner, I used my Stampin' Up! It's a ticket punch die. You can use any corner punch. You can even use your on-the-edge dies to create a different flap if you want or you could just leave it um, by itself so you're gonna need two pieces and let's see here this measures seven and one eighths by ten in a quarter and then the belly band measures one and a half by eight and five eighths okay so let's start with this first you're gonna need your scoreboard so I'm just gonna use my scoreboard here and 
on the 10 and a quarter inch side you're going to score at two on this end right here you want to make sure uh, just to let you know this is the top side of the um, book okay so this is going to be two inches and then two and a half five and five eighths six and one eighths nine and a quarter and nine and three quarters okay and then you're going to flip it to the seven and one eighths inch side and you're going to score it at half an inch one six and one eighths and six and five eighths Okay, so let's put that to the side. Let me flip it so you can see in the score lines better. Okay, so on the side right here, not this side that has the two lines, but the other side, you're basically going to cut this entire piece out. You're going to cut that whole piece out. Okay, and you're going to do that to both sides. So I cut it first. You can fold your score lines first and then cut, or you can cut and then fold your score lines. You know, whichever you prefer. I usually just cut it first. Um, you can also use your trimmer too if you don't want to use your scissors because the score line is a pretty long score line. And you want to get it as straight as possible. Okay. So just cut that out. Okay. So you got those two pieces out. So it looks like this. And then you're going to cut a slit right here. And then you're going to cut this piece out right here. Okay. Do that to the other side as well. Cut and then cut this piece. Okay. And then I'm going to take my ticket punch and punch the edges here. Okay, so now I'm going to fold all my scored lines. So let's fold this. And it looks really pretty with um, double-sided paper because, you know, you see both sides. But it's also pretty with single-sided paper, too. And then I just fold those down. Okay. So now what you're going to do is you're going to fold these two tabs down right here, add your glue. I'm just using some tacky glue here, just add your little glue, and then you're going to push this piece in like that, so you're going to glue it to that piece, so you can start seeing that little pocket forming. Okay, and then I just turn it like this. Okay, now you're going to fold, Let's see here, you're going to fold these two in. Okay, and then add your glue to that. So just add a little glue. This will, uh, will work great with glue dots too. It's probably faster. Okay, and then just push that down. Do the other side. 
Okay. And then you just take your index cards, and you could buy a pack of these pretty much anywhere. It comes in a pack of a hundred, and then they just fit in perfectly. And then you just close your little book like so. Okay. And now we're gonna make a belly band. You can use Velcro um, for the closure, uh, little magnets for the closure. So the belly band. Let's get back my board here. This again measures one and a half by eight and five eighths. And on the eight and five eighths, you're going to score it two, two and a half, five and five eighths, and six and one eighths. Okay. And then you can add any embellishment on the front. And you can see here I just add some bows. So just fold those. Okay, and then I put the, sh the shorter end on this end of the purse, and then you're going to notice that one strip is a little bit longer. I just place it on top. Or you can, you know, create your own measurements. I just created that measurement for the belly band. And just line it up. A good press and there you go you got your cute little index card purse and then you can see it doesn't come out on the sides and again even if you took the belly band out and let's say you put a velcro piece it still doesn't come out on the sides okay so have fun creating and thanks for watching bye